Let's take what we've learned about amplifier envelopes in the last clip and apply it towards filters. You can also use an envelope to control the cutoff of a filter. So let's use reason for this example. Here we have the subtractive synthesizer playing a sawtooth in a square wave, and that's being run through a low-pass filter. And that's what the basic wave, the two waves sound like. And this is what happens when we close the filter. So a bit of resonance on that because you can hear it uh, whistling. Here we have the filter envelope with the same controls, ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. What I need you to imagine now is that this is no longer controlling volume, but it's actually controlling the position of the cutoff. In other words, if I were to start with a filter closed, and I would activate the filter envelope, I would do that by raising the amount dial. Sometimes the filter is automatically connected to the filter, or there's simply an on and off switch. But on this particular synthesizer, uh, you have to turn up the amount of the control that's being fed to the cutoff. So let's see how these controls translate into what we hear. First of all, if the attack time is down, what will happen is when you play the note, the filter will immediately go to an open position, as we hear in this example. As a matter of fact, the position of the cutoff actually has no effect because when you hit the note, the filter envelope is telling the cutoff to immediately go to an open position. If I change the time of this, what will happen now is you can set the cutoff to be a little bit lower. In other words, it's removing more of the high frequencies, and it'll take this amount of time for the cutoff to start from a closed position and move to an open position, in the same way that the volume starts from quiet and moves up to loud in an amp envelope. Let's hear what this sounds like. And you hear the filter opening very quickly, which is what, it's what would happen if I move the style up very quickly. But instead of you physically doing that, you can have the filter envelope do that for you. If I increase the attack time, it'll take longer for the cutoff to go from a closed position to an open position. In the same way that we have a secondary, secondary volume point in the amp envelope, once we reach the full open position, then we can have that filter close again by where you set the sustain. In other words, if I leave this all the way up, the filter will remain open as I hold the note. As I bring this down, the filter will begin to close by this amount of time. Here it'll happen very quickly. Here it'll take a lot longer for it to close. Let's see what this will sound like. And you hear it going from this position all the way to open, controlled by the attack time. And then very quickly, because of the decay time, dropping to a more closed position by the sustain. If I move this, it'll drop from open to close a little bit slower. And the further down that I bring the sustain, the further down that the filter will close after it reaches a full open position. So anytime you hear the filter moving like that, and you hear it moving only in one cycle, which means that it opens and closes and no longer changes, that is an indication that the waves uh, are being run through a filter that's being controlled by a filter envelope. Let's look at how this happens in other synthesizers as well. If we look at the Maelstrom, we see that there's a sawtooth wave that's going through filter A. It's set at low pass. There's the sound of the filter opening and closing. As I begin to turn up the filter envelope amount, this dial is telling the cutoff 
to be controlled by the ADSR section of the filter. I'm going to start with a closed position, and you'll hear the filter open over this amount of time. Here it'll happen very quickly. Here it'll take longer. And since I have the sustain down, once the filter opens all the way to full position, it'll be, come back to a secondary position, which is controlled by the sustain, and this is how quickly that happens. Here it happens quickly. Here how it closes immediately, and here, once it reaches full position, it'll close a lot slower. Now the release is another position that the filter can move to once you let go of the note, but you will only hear that if you have the release turned up on the actual oscillator. Otherwise, when you let go of the note, the sound will cut off and you will not hear the filter having any effect on the sound. And I'm releasing now. And as the sound dies out, the filter is closing a bit more. So that's basically it for the filter envelope. As I said before, keep in mind that some of these are automatically routed to the filter through a basic switch. Some of them have a dial that control how much of this value is sent to the cutoff.